Hi, welcome to The Secret Stairs. We're going to get ten mini kits, three treasures, one mithril recipe, which is the mithril squeak sword, and then a red brick for times ten coins. And a couple of the treasures are also quest items, and I'll show you where to get all of those at the end. First of all, at the beginning, turn into Legolas, shoot that target, and out will pop an Aragorn tracking device. And there are three tracks to do here, so go ahead and track them. And while we're tracking it, I'll just mention I'm going to skip the big chunk of this level, because after we've got uh, the first mini kit, there's not a lot to do until you've built the stairs up here. So I'm just going to cut it all, because I assume you've done it before. Anyway, there is the first treasure, the sure-footed greaves, which allow you to walk on snow. Then turn into Gimli and smash that block there to get the first mini kit. And then just continue through the level as you normally do until you've built the two Lego blocks that allow you to jump up here. Once you've jumped up there, smash those blocks to the right and you'll reveal a little plant spot for Sam. So grow that plant and it will smash those bricks which will spit out your second mini kit. Now in the next section it all goes a little bit wrong. There's five plants you've got to smash and the first one is just here but I got it right at the end so the mini kit will pop out but there are five all together that's the first one and I'll correct the numbers as we go along. Anyway turn into Legolas and shoot there then flip across here onto the grabby bar and grab mini kit number three. There you go. Drop back down and continue off to the right this way. This way. There we go. Carry on up here, go into there, turn into Gollum, climb up, continue through the mission as you normally would. Smash all these things. Uh, but in here, you'll notice that there's another plant, and that's plant number two. Then push this block over, climb up here, and just outside this cave is plant number three, even though it says two. And then go in here and smash this up and get the bits and pieces you need to progress the level. Uh, grab the rope there, or use the rope there to pull that brick down, head over there, and now get out the explodey man and blow up that block. And that will activate this chain and also drop some Lego bricks that you need to build. So build those and it'll turn into a Stairmaster 3000. Uh, climb into that, it's a little bit awkward to get in, but um, you'll work it out eventually. Then ride it on up the side, there we go, and collect the mini kit at the top, then pop out and head this way to be Gimli to smash this cracked block here. This will drop some Lego bricks that you build that turns into a sort of cliff fishing rod. Uh, I thought it was a rope that you had to jump onto, so you'll see I jump off the side um, just as it comes up very successfully, but that drops treasure number two, which is the muddy armor, and there's another quest item. Then progress through the level as you normally would, Turn to Gollum, do this, crawl up here, but that's plant number four up there. Put the plant in here, turn into Sam, build that. And then just underneath here is plant number five. So when you smash that, you'll get the mini kit that I got at the beginning. Anyway, build this, carry on up the stairs all the way here. And you're going to be getting into Shelob's layer here in a second. There we go, must smash bricks. In here, just do a quick check, you should have five mini kits, no recipe, and two of the treasures. So we're going to pick up the rest of the stuff in here. Now heading through here, just immediately on the left, you'll see a little orange spider web up there. Light it up and then use Sam, or light it up to scare the spiders away, and then use Sam to plant a little uh, plant, <laughs> obviously, and a mini kit will drop down, that's number six. And then head up this tunnel to the left, where the big white light's coming out of up here and smash your way through to the back where you will find the recipe for the mithril squeak sword. That's there, and that's going to be what we need for the red brick to give us ten, times 10 studs, but that's worth 10 million, so it's kind of expensive. But if you've got a few of the multipliers already, you should be racking in the points. Nothing to do around there, I was just checking and collecting coins. Up here there's an orange block to grab, so grab someone strong, pull that out, and there's treasure number three, which is the spider fang, which is kind of a cool sword. I wish I hadn't given it to, or cool weapon I should say, it's like a scythe. I shouldn't have given it to him because I need him to smash up some mithril blocks in a second. Anyway, carry on through here, well not mithril blocks, mithril web. Carry on through here and blow that up. And not only is there a mini kit back there, I think that puts us up to number seven, but there's 20,000 studs as well. Yep, number seven. Now from here, turn into Gollum and climb up here, and you actually don't need to go back for the other guy. You don't need two people from here on in, so you can skip that pushing bit. You see, I couldn't be bothered to walk him up in the end. 
So you can just carry on through here and you'll see a mini kit on the right hand side, so smash that uh, with reckless abandon and grab mini kit number 8. Then carry on through here and you'll see some Morgul bricks, so grab Aragorn or whoever you've got to smash those. And the one that I just smashed, that one, so there's nothing under there, but the one I just smashed there is a little dig pile for Sam. So dig that away, and you will make a little insect that you then need to turn into Gandalf or Saruman to control. And you fly that up and to the left into the spider web, it'll get stuck and freak out a little bit and spit out heaps of coins, and finally a mini kit. There you go. So that's mini kit number nine. Carry on through the level, and mini kit number 10 is the really, really stinky one. Um, it's tricky to get. It's picked up. You've got to get three skulls during the mad dash out of the lair. So immediately when you start this next part, stick to the right-hand side, and you should get the first one. You'll see it coming up here. So hold to the right. There you go. There's number one. Hold to the left for number two, and stay to the left to get another few thousand coins, and then pull to the right again. For number three which is over there but if you don't get it the level ends almost instantly so you've got to replay the whole thing from the beginning and i ended up having to play it three times while i worked out which sides they were on it was very annoying anyway it's kind of a cool mini kit i'm going to go and do a video of all the mini kits at the end we also got the spider fang the muddy armor and the sure-footed greaves as well as the recipe for the mithril squeak sword and remember beat sam with it it's awesome so head to Bree, build it, uh, it is there on the second, on the third row down, and it costs just four bricks. And it's got a little bear on the end. Oh. Um, now, this needs to be delivered to Kirith Ungol. So go to there in the daytime, and then head as far east as you can here. And what you can do is actually there's a sheep and a uh, challenge race, but if you jump on the sheep, you're not going to have, well, I mean, you can finish the race if you want, but the sheep moves more quickly, and if you just follow the markers, it'll pretty much drop you where you need to be. It's just here, I've just run past him, so he's behind me now, there. So have a chat with him. He'll tell you he's the richest man in the world, and all he really wants is a squeaky sword. Because I guess that is for the man who has everything. Um, Activate the studs, it's going to cost you 10 million, but once you activate it, you're going to have more money than you know what to do with. Anyway, from there, we're heading to Minas Tirith to drop off the sure footed greaves, I think, and it's just outside here to the southeast. Don't jump over the side, I did, it's not a shortcut, you'll just die. Instead, go through the door, ring this bell here on the right, and hand the sure footed greaves to this dwarf fellow because he doesn't want to get wet in the snow anymore. There you go. And then we're going to head to the Dead Marshes. Uh, that's up north where we met Gollum for the first time. He took us through there. So head to that map stone there. And then follow the quest marker to the northeast there. And just follow the blue studs. Take a right there. Don't carry on. That's it. Over there. Don't forget to build the skeleton because they make awesome music. And the guy is just here on the right. And he's upset because the uruk are so big and bad. And he thinks it's only because of their armor. So he wants some muddy armor to be as cool as that. Anyway, that's your lot. Uh, two silver bricks and uh, a bunch of other good stuff. Hope it was useful. Uh, check out the forum or let me know in the comments what you think. Lots of love. Bye.